guys, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Oh my god, it's finally happening. <sighs> okay, um, so the main reason why I wanted to start my YouTube with beginner's makeup is because when I myself started my makeup journey, it was very, very, very difficult for me to find the right products because there are so many brands out there and you don't know which product to use. Because there are so many and plus, you know, there are so many undertones like for foundation or if you go for skin care, there are so many skin types. So you don't know where to start from. And especially when it comes to makeup, there's a lot. There are so many shades, there are so many brands, formulas, every formula is different if you see. And when it comes to your foundation, it's the skin tone, you got to match, like the foundation needs to match your skin tone. So it's like a different journey, to be honest. And the only people I used to rely on were either the youtubers or makeup artists that i used to follow and it's been a journey like it's been rough and i know there are so many people out there who actually want to start with makeup but they don't know from where to start and so here i am to help you guys find the right products for yourself i'm gonna tell you some tricks and tips which i used when i started and which i learned throughout my journey and i'm gonna show you guys some really cool affordable products which you yourself can buy and just use it like there are some products which i use for multi-purpose like the same product i use it for three different steps so i'm gonna tell you guys which products you should use and how to use them and i really really hope this helps you guys start your makeup journey because it's fun like it's it's just so much to explore so it's fun so yep let's jump into the video so the first step to do before applying makeup like before applying the actual makeup is getting your skin moisturized and for that you can use any moisturizer you prefer the reason why we use moisturizers before foundation is because or maybe before primer if you use primer but as this is a beginner's makeup i'll directly go with foundation after moisturizer so the reason why we use moisturizers before the foundation is because moisturizers actually hydrate your skin and they keep your skin feeling fresh from inside because the makeup products which we use they can get a bit dry on your skin and you really need something that will protect your skin and keep your base strong and so we use moisturizers so the moisturizer which i'm going to use today is the lacme 9 to 5 natural aloe aqua gel this retails for 200 bucks and it's a really good moisturizer if you see like for 200 you get such a nice product i've had some really good experience with it and it has been a good moisturizer like it's a nice decent moisturizer which you can use under your makeup i just take a little bit of that because i don't want my base to be too oily or too sticky though this moisturizer is not greasy at all but i don't want to thopify more products you know, on my face so i'm just gonna take a little bit of that some. don't massage too much don't massage too less like you know what your skin needs so don't go overboard there's this one thing why I chose this moisturizer for today's video is because it's a bit sticky uh, which makes it really convenient for my foundation. Next up is foundation so make sure your hair is not on your face because you don't want it to be all messy. So the foundation which I use is the Maybelline Fit Me 310 Sun Beige. It's a matte and poreless foundation. Now the thing that I would recommend is that go for the small tube first because this retails for $2.99. And the bottle, if you go for the bigger bottle, it retains for is 600. But go for the smaller one because you don't know. There in the store, they might tell you and give you the right shade by convincing you that, you know, this is the right shade for you. But when you get back home, you realize that, no, it's not the right shade. So first get the small one, try it. If you really feel that, yes, it's going well with your skin, then go for the big one. But what if it doesn't work? You don't know now if it's gonna work or not. So go for the smaller one, the tube one. You can get this on Nykaa if you want, because I'm not sure if you'll get it in any beauty store. So check Nykaa, this is definitely there. I got it from Nykaa and they also have some discounts going on. So it'll be really convenient for you to buy it. So I am 310 Sun Beige. This is a bit lighter on my skin, but this is, like this was my first foundation like when i started makeup this was the shade which i started with and this is the first foundation which i used so today i'm going to use this one so i'm going to use a beauty blender the reason why i'm using a beauty blender is because i also started with a blender but you can also use your fingers if you are really in a hurry or something like that but i would prefer a beauty blender like no matter what you gotta have a beauty blender like if you want to do makeup the first thing you should go and buy is a beauty blender i'm gonna take a little bit of that on the back of my hand just, just a little bit okay 
don't go to hold first and just warm it up and apply a few dots on your face like according to your convenience take this beauty blender and lightly tap it don't go too heavy with beauty blenders because beauty blenders are meant to absorb product and if you go too heavy it will absorb the entire product Uh, and make sure you wet your beauty blender before applying it. Mine is wet already. Make sure you wet yours because oh god, this sounds so bad. Make sure you wet your beauty blender because that will help your product sink well in your skin. So it'll look like a natural finish. You know? Okay, so I feel I should go in with a bit more. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit on my scars because I have a lot of acne scars as you know. And today I'm not gonna use a concealer because um, it's beginner's makeup, dude. I'm mean, like. I never used a concealer before because I never had like really crazy dark circles so I never used it. I feel foundation can somewhere hide your dark circles. It not completely but it will. Okay so mind me because there are times I'm looking at the camera and there are times I'm looking at the screen. So just I'm just sorry for that. Just deal with it. Bear with me guys. I'm new to all this. It'll take time. So this is a pretty good shade for me. So if you are anywhere close to my shade, you can definitely go for three one zero sun beige in Maybelline. So your base is ready. Like that's all you need. Like you can go out like that. Like just put up some lip balm and you can go out. But obviously not everyone will go out like this. I I might. I don't mind. To be honest, I don't. The reason why I'm continuously blending it while talking to you guys is because. The more you blend, the better because you don't want your skin or your foundation to look cakey on your skin, and that'll just ruin your entire look. To be very honest. So next up, I'm gonna use my favorite powder. This is the Maybelline New York White Super Fresh Powder. This retails for one sixty, and it's a very good price for such a good powder. Like uh, you can see, this is a powder. This is with the shade I use because it matches really well. So make sure that the powder you use matches your skin color or is close by your skin color. Don't go for light shades. Don't go for dark ones. For especially for powders, go for the shades which are very close to your skin. For foundation, you can actually work it out. Like if you have a light foundation, you can add a dark one and make it your shade. If you have a dark one, and you can add any moisturizer, like a white moisturizer, and make it light. But for powders, you gotta be correct. So make sure whichever powder you use, it's close to your skin tone. So this is the powder, and I'm just gonna take a bit of that and lightly press into my skin. Reason why I'm pressing it in my skin is because uh, I really want my foundation to stay. And not crease, so that's why I'm just gonna press it into my skin. I would 100% recommend this for beginners because, and it's very travel friendly. You can take it anywhere, and whenever you feel like you're sweating, or if you feel like you know you just need that pump of powder, you can just go for this one. So as you can see, my base is good. Like you know, this is something I can work with. So next is eyebrows. Now, if you are really in a hurry, I'm sure you won't do your brows. But I'm still gonna teach you how to do it, even if you're in a hurry, because I'm gonna do it really quick. Like it'll barely take a minute. Even if you have nothing on your face, and if you have that good brow shape, like defined brows and some mascara on, you are good to go. So the brow pencil which I'm gonna use today is the Miss Claire Waterproof Eyebrow Pencil. And this is in the shade dark brown. This retails for seventy five rupees, and it's very good. I mean, seventy five me milta ke eyebrow. You're getting like a whole freaking eyebrow pencil, and this is not like bad. It works well, dude. Like this works really well. So you should definitely buy this. And if you really want, just like you want that snatched eyebrow look, you should definitely go for it. First thing that you should do is brush your brows to get that nice clean. brow texture because you don't want to you don't want to line it up and make it look worse so first brush it properly and they give this small brush with the product so it's pretty good and i don't mind using this if you have really thin brows i would suggest you to outline your brows and make your own shape of brows but if you have like medium to thick brows you can just go in with the edges and for beginners i would recommend that just go with the shape of your brow and just fill it very lightly you want to use really light pressure 
arm and lightly just go in with the shape of my brows and do the same thing below just lightly fill it up and put two three strokes if you want to if you don't want to it's okay and then again brush it up you see the difference like this looks pretty refined and trust me i've barely applied any pressure like this looks defined like i can go out with this so do the same thing on the left side go very lightly like very lightly on your brows it is um, it can look a bit weird and they're done like my brows are done you see the magic you see how it works you can blindly trust me with this product like this miss claire eyebrow is the bomb okay you can you can you can just go and buy it thank me later so next is eyeshadow now for beginners eyeshadow is a task i i i feel you guys i have two palettes here both of them are very good and very affordable so the first one is the wet and wild eyeshadow palette it's the rose in the air palette and it's a really good palette for neutrals and this retails only for 4.99 i mean for 4.99 you get some really good shades and the pigmentation is also good you see this palette has so many looks in it it has neutral it has pinks it has orange it has two shimmers as well so you can use it for like some party look you can like do so many looks with that and it's just for 4.99 and the second palette is the sugar contour the force face palette this is zero to vivid victory now the reason why i would choose this palette is because I can use it for so many purposes. You can use this for blush, or you can use this for eyeshadow if you want the pink look, and just pop on some highlighter on it on your lids, or just you know highlighter. This is a good highlighter, and you can use this for a neutral look as well on your eyeshadow, and you can also use this for contouring if you are somewhere close to my shade. So these, so these are the two palettes. You can go for any one. Like they are both really good. If you want a palette which is good for multi-purpose, I would suggest the sugar palette. But if you want a proper eyeshadow palette, but for beginners, like this is very affordable and good for beginners. You can definitely go for this one. You can use this for transition. These are the two shades. It depends on what look you're going for. So I'm gonna use this one, obviously, because it has three things in it, and I'm like. I want products which can do not just what it says, but do more than that. And when I see any pink eyeshadow, I use it as my blush. So it's good and convenient. Now, like you just have one palette and you're good to go. Like you have everything sorted for you. So this is the palette which I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use um, this shade for my eyes. I'm gonna use my fingers for my eyeshadow. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that, and I'm just gonna apply it on my lids. see you're getting that nice brown contoured eyes you can just stop here if you want to but i will go for the shimmer shade because because me don't go too heavy just put it in the center and then just spread it you see and you're done you are the eyeshadow queen fish you are the eyeshadow queen just put it on your lips okay that's the eye look and you are done like you are good to go also use the pink one on your lips and then go with this shimmer shade on it that'll be like a pink look is the dryer you need in your life like, this is all you need you don't need fancy like this i'm not in a mood for mascara for some reason because i don't know i just want my eyelashes to chill a bit but if you want a good affordable mascara i would recommend the iconic curling mascara by lacme it's a really good mascara for beginners so you can definitely go for this if you're looking for something good affordable so next up should be eyeliner but again i'm not a huge fan of liners but i'll still use it i'm gonna use a very little bit of that i'm not gonna go heavy with this the eyeliner which i'm using is the color bar ultimate black eyeliner it's a really good eyeliner like even on nika it's one of their you know customers top rated so you can definitely check this out it's waterproof as well i'm 
not someone who likes that wing look i just like to define it from there you see you see the difference this eye looks more defined from the edges and this one looks there so i'm just gonna do that and just define it That's the look I love. I've learned this from my Singapore friend. Um, she, uh, the eye shape is different. Their eyes are really different. She's Chinese. She lives in Singapore. So this is the trick which she taught me to make our eyes look much wider. I'm just gonna do the same. So yeah, that's it for the eyes. And so far, I'm really liking this look. So next is Kajal. I'm using the Nykaa Rock the Line Kajal. This retails for $1.99. You can use any Kajal because there are so many Kajals out there that really work well. But I personally would go for this one. Again, I'm not gonna do this. I'm just gonna define my edges. Next up, I'll go with blush and I'll again go in with the same palette, the sugar one. So I'm gonna go for this shade right here and use it as my blush. You can apply your blush with your fingers but I would recommend like if you are a beginner, go for a blender. Because normally when we blend, we do this but when we apply blush, we can use this part of the blender. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that um, and just gonna put some smile a bit and apply it. Just put some product on your cheeks first and then blend it up. And make sure your beauty blender is wet because if it's not wet, it's not gonna melt the product into your skin. And I'm gonna do the same thing on my left side. Just gonna... Okay. So next up is lips. I just applied a lip balm on my lips because it was really dry and it felt really dry. So I applied the Nivea one. So for lipsticks, I'm going to use the Maybelline Mad Sensational Cream Lipsticks. And you guys, this is my holy grail product. Like I have three right now in front of me. And they are so good. And they work so well. And they only retail for $2.99. Like for $2.99, there are so many options. Like if you want reds, if you want browns, pinks. You have so many shades to choose from. Just for $2.99, you get like this good amount of product. Like that's a lot, okay? So for lipsticks, for any beginner, even if you are a professional, I would definitely recommend this one. I really love this range for me. And this is like the best launch I feel till date. So I have three options here. I have a nude and I don't want to go with nude because this is a really basic look and I'm nowhere close to basic. So, so these are the two shades which I have. They do look same here but they are not. I'm just going to swatch it for you. So this is one shade. Uh, this is burgundy blush and this is the other shade and uh, that is divine wine. Um, this is probably obviously this is red and this is a lot more on the maroon side, the darker side and I would go for that. I'm someone who is all about dark shades like just give me a dark shade, I'll dive into it. So this is in the shade burgundy blush. You can definitely go for a lip liner but I don't do that. So when you apply it directly with the cream lipstick or liquid lipstick, just first define the borders and then go in, okay? So there's this one hack which I use and which I'm gonna tell you. So after applying my lipstick, I take any cloth or any tissue and I just put it like I just keep it in my mouth and I lightly do this. What it does is it takes your extra product off. And it gives you that matte finish. You see, like if you just go back, you will see that this lipstick was supposed to look creamy. But now suddenly it's looking a bit matte. So that's the hack. And this will help your lipstick stay longer. I'm going to do that. Don't do it a lot. You'll take all that lipstick off. This 
so yes that's it for the beginners makeup tutorial and i really hope that this look helped you guys and this video helped you guys understand the products and understand which product is good for you and affordable now all i want you to do is just go and get it and just explore it and do whatever you want with your face and just enjoy it i did my best and i really tried to give you all the tips possible that i would do uh, for my makeup uh, and I really really hope that this helped you like I really that's the only motive here I really want to make it convenient for you guys and I really hope I did um, so thank you so much for watching and I really hope that you guys enjoyed it if you really like this video do like comment share and subscribe do comment if you want to see more and what you want to see like I really want to make videos for you people and want to make it according to your convenience so just tell me what you want and I'll just make a video on it uh, so do comment it if there are any questions related to that again you can comment and uh, do subscribe if you want to see more content because I'm going to post a lot more now and I really really hope that I was a help to you guys thank you so 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 much for watching